Today I'm going to start uh, working on spray painting the brake booster parts. <laughs> Hopefully, it, you know, I can get it done. It's about uh, 30 degrees out and uh, a little bit of a breeze, but I think it's going to be the best day of the week. Tomorrow they're predicting it to become overcast, but warmer with a chance of rain in the afternoon when it's supposed to get warmer then changing to snow and they're talking a foot foot and a half of snow between then and over the next couple days so i'm going to be painting and and that so i'm going to try and get it out right now and get it painted so i'm going to start getting things ready and mix some paint up here well, this is what i'm going to use to paint it it's a single stage acrylic enamel i'm going to use a fast dry reducer and the hardener and I'm going to put a little smoothie in it so if there's any oils or anything it doesn't uh, fish eye or anything. All right let me get this in the shaker and shook up. There we go that seems like it's in there secure we'll give it a few minutes. I believe we're supposed to get a couple feet of snow in a, in a few days. All right, let's uh, get some paint on this. That's hard to paint in there. In between those things, so... I might get a run or two, but it doesn't matter. It's kind of behind stuff where you don't see. One coat, next part. Paint this one next. coat one and go get the, the next part. The little parts like this I'll probably only put one coat on if I can get every get it all coated in one. You know this is engine compartment it's not going to be in the weather. Look it over, make sure I didn't miss a spot because this is all and I think this is this is gonna be a one coat on these parts. The other part, the two halves, I'll put two coats on, but that looks pretty darn good. And you won't even see that anyway.
That's only going to get one coat too. I can still see primer though. That looks pretty good. This part goes through the firewall and attaches the brake pedal. So you don't see this either, it's up under the dash. And that's only going to get one coat also. These are pins, so it's just the the edges I got to paint in one washer. So this is just mask and those won't have any paint on them. Good enough. This is just a washer. It's for where those cotter pins hold the pins on the linkage, but you know what? They're off and clean, might as well paint them, right? This goes from the bell crank apparatus to inside the booster. This actually pushes that big diaphragm plunger and works that vacuum source. So anyway, let me get some paint on this. Good enough. One more little bracket here and then we'll let the paint dry on those other bits for 15 minutes and we'll second coat those two big bits and everything else just getting one. More than what the factory did, guarantee you that. In fact, I don't even think the factory painted these. I think they were just bare metal when they were put together. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to take my paint gun in so the paint doesn't get too cold and turn you guys off and let that stuff dry a few minutes. There, we're going to put another coat on this piece here. good. Alright, the other piece I got to mix up just a tad more paint to get it. So you can see if I get out of the sun, I'm painting just this edge. The inside's all masked. And uh, I could use just one more coat. That'll do this. Two coats typically what you do with acrylic enamel. Then I'll paint this edge first. Knock my spray gun off the chair there. 
anyway there we go that looks pretty good I don't see anything else that needs paint on it take it back in the garage and hang it to dry turned out pretty nice A little bit, some pieces here. This little bit and this. This is the uh, bottom here. This end, this is the top. And this bolts to the firewall, just to give you an idea. And this is inside, but nothing touches or works there so I just painted it because you know it was just easy enough to do but there we go I don't have any other little bits to paint so now it's time to clean the spray gun and I've shown how to do that in the past so I'm not going to do it again I'm just going to clean it. it takes a few minutes I take the gun completely apart dump the leftover I got to find I wasn't going to dump it in that but it, I actually use this for other little projects. I don't know, I probably just dump it in there. Once that paint has cured for a couple of days, we'll start uh, assembling it with the rebuild kit that on the booster. And I'm going to end the video here. And uh, if you want to see the, if we get the foot, foot and a half of snow and you'll want to see me out cleaning it up with the old Aaron's snow throw, let me know. Maybe I'll make another video. I really don't want to, but... That kind of snow I might do. It might make a video of all the massive snow if we get it. But anyway, that's it for this video on painting my uh, power brake booster up. And all the bits are all basically dry to the touch. I untaped this one. You see the inside of it. But yeah, that's all. I'm not going to touch this surface yet. But it feels pretty good. Nice and dry. Turned out nice. It's been a couple hours now about since I uh, sprayed it. Looks good. But anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, you can hit that 348 engine icon. That'll subscribe you. Thank you for watching my video.